All right, welcome back. We got a great one here for you now. Impress your guests this holiday with a beautiful dessert, but shh, don't tell them <laughs> that it's better for them of creme brulee, guys. Oh, it's my favorite. Our mouths are watering. <laughs> our dietetic interns from UW Green Bay are back, including Alyssa, Madeline, and Danielle. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. And Thanks. Nate and I are huge creme brulee oh, yeah. fans, but we are excited for an option because it's a little bit healthier, but still has that still bang for the delicious flavor. So what are we, what are we t making today? So first we started with some berries. So we have blackberries and raspberries, and then we have a little bit of water. Um, so we just wanted to simmer the berries. And then we're also going to add a little bit of lemon juice, a little zest. <laughs> Got to have that. I'm going to real quick just so people can see. Look at this. And this has been, how long do you usually cook this for? How long has this been on so far? Five minutes. So we did a little bit off air. All right, gotcha. So you just add some juice to it. Yep, what kind of juice again? Juice, lemon juice. Lemon juice. And what else are we add to it? And then just a little bit of sugar. The sugar is optional. Okay. And we will, of course, take that option. <laughs> Nate and I have a sweet tooth. So the optional because it, the berries already have their own natural sugars, yep. right? So instead of adding the added sugar, you can really allow the berries to um, have their natural sugars come out. In Very this cool. Recipe. So you add the sugar. Yes. Uh, anything else go into this? Is it ready? Yep, this is ready. Okay, and you said for about five minutes. Yep. Okay, and now what are we doing with this? It then looks and smells great. We are going to put it into the dish. Mm. So berries are really great because they have a lot of antioxidants, and that comes from the color that you see in the berries. So and again, we're all about the healthy options here. Brittany, you are like staring this I thing mean, down. Is that weird that I'm like <laughs> drooling over here? Just the berries alone look really awesome. So are we just coating kind of like the bottom of yes. your creme brulee dish? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many like servings would, would you say, if you're trying to feed family and that sort of thing, that you would put into this? Well, the recipe that you guys will be posting will have roughly four servings. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we'll post that online. After the show, what is next? Next step here. All right, so next we're going to just add a little bit of granola. It adds just a little bit of fiber, and it's lightly sweetened, so it's not too sweet. Um, and then on top of that, we're going to put some of our Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is great because it's got double the protein of your traditional yogurt. It's also lower in sodium, so um, it's a nice, healthy dessert. Um, Another thing that's really great about the Greek yogurt is that it's got probiotics in it, which are really good for our digestive health. Um, then we're going to take it on over to... All right, so we got the antioxidants, the probiotics, and really what makes a creme brulee a creme brulee, I think, to all of us is, a, is that, like, oh, glaze yeah. over the top, right? <laughs> nice caramelized sugar on top. All right. So this is the fun part, if, I mean, if you like... A little, bit of like a little flame. A little bit of flame. I'm, I'm becoming a pyromaniac <laughs> this morning. All right, should I, should I wait to do it? or? Yeah, so right. you can wait till okay. we get the sugar all on there. Settle down a little um, bit. So you could technically use, it's called turbino sugar, which is like sugar in the raw. Mm. Um, it's got the bigger crystals, so that'll, you get the effect more readily because the sugar um, kind of, what's it called, like melt down faster and oh, okay. just more appealing to the eye. We have white sugar because that's, uh, what I have in my cupboard. So. Easily accessible. <laughs> yep, so I really, like that. really any sugar works. So we'll sprinkle some of that on top. Now, Brittany has like a mini blowtorch here. <laughs> and yep. she was like, I want to do it. So I'm, a, yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see how this is going to go. Like you said, this is the fun part. Mm -hmm. So you just coat easy. it with some sugar there and then yep. uh, torch away. All right, so yeah. what do I, have fun. how do I so turn it on? So you just press the lo this button. Yep. This press one? it down. Yep. <laughs> Look out. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> and so I, do I just kind of do it lightly? Yep, you can get as close as you want. Um, okay. You'll start to see it bubble. So as you see, it starts to bubble. Oh, yeah. Have you ever done anything like this, Brittany? I've never done anything. This is the first time for me on live television. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, and it's starting to bubble. Is there any like tricks that you like to recommend to people to do so they're not like over burning? Um, so it's really just by eye. Okay. This can also be done under a broiler, which we don't have an oven here. Okay. But um, having the broiler on and it recommends like two minutes roughly, but make sure you keep an eye on it so that you don't burn it. Um, there's all different kinds of ways to do it. Different techniques. Well, yeah. I am, I'm just, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. But <laughs> Nate, I think we're going to have you try this coming up a little yeah. bit later. But you can find this recipe, a really healthy option for you to get your creme brulee on this holiday season. Impress your guests. We'll have that all at wearegreenbay.com slash local five live. We'll be right back.